I had met Jesus somewhere around 2000 before that. I, I wasn't a Christian at all. I was addicted. I was an alcoholic. And, but when I met Jesus, I got sober. He totally healed me. He changed my life totally. And then um, me and my husband came up here for the church planners internship. So after a couple of years, we felt like we wanted to go back to Louisiana and plant a church, which we did. And the enemy just totally, <laughs> totally came in and just did all this stuff to our life. I had a back injury. I had to start taking these pain pills. Um, long story short, I got addicted to them. And before I knew it, I was drinking again. Uh, and I was pretty much right back where I started. Um, and then I had a really bad seizure. It probably should have killed me um, or put me in a coma or something like that. And at that point, I knew something in my life had to change. Um, I knew for a while I was slowly just killing myself, but um, I didn't know how to get out. But then after that seizure, I was willing to do hard things and make risk. And because I, I just had this, ah, I have to get, I know this is going to kill me. So my husband got offered a job up here. For the longest time, I didn't want to move, but um, this time I said, okay, I'll, I'll leave my family, my grandchildren, everybody, because I know I have to make a change. And um, at this point, he didn't even know, nobody knew that I was struggling this way. But when we got up here, I started sharing it with people. What God did was he, he gave me the desire to worship back when I started to share those secrets. And then, of course, you know, once you start worshiping, it's all over, buddy. I mean, you know, it's all over once you start worshiping. And I had no desire. I had no desire to worship. I had no desire to go to church. I had none of that till I started sharing the secret. And then, you know, you see God again for the, the lover of your soul, you know, for the one that, that loves you no matter what, and for the safe person that he is. And, you know, when you get stuck in addiction, you hear all these, you know, the enemy just makes God seem like he's the bad guy, and he's not. And when you start sharing these secrets, for some reason, that's when you see him again, as he is the Savior. He is the one that fixes things.